Chapter 4 Roadside Battle We're back at Fort Mercenary, guys! And here comes... Who is this? Ike! Ike, I've got to tell you something! Listen to this! Settle down, Mist. It's too early for you to be yelling like that. Now, what's going on? Soren's back! He just arrived! Really? That's odd. He wasn't supposed to return for a while. I know! I wonder what he's doing back so soon! It's probably nothing to worry about. I'll go and talk to him. Where is he? In the mess hall. I think he wanted to talk to Father. Right. I'll go check there. Troubling news indeed. Gather the troops. Yes, Commander. Ike, if you've got time to waste, you've got time to work. Get over to the briefing room. Yes, sir. Hey, what's going on around here? Bad news. Something big is happening, and we need to formulate a plan of action. Soren! Hello, Ike. Long time no see. I'm happy to see you're back. But what happened? I thought you were going to be studying for a while longer. It's a long story. What's the holdup? Get over here now! Let's go. I'll fill you in later. You probably remember- oh. You probably remember that Soren's been training with another mercenary group. Well, he's back now. And he has some unbelievable news. What news is that? Crimea and Dane. They've gone to war. War? It- it can't be! That's why I've called everyone here. Soren has some more information. Go ahead, Soren. Alright. Take a look at this map. Ah, it's a map of Crimea. Quite detailed from the looks of it. Yes. This is the Melior, Crimea's capital. The Melior? Our base of operation is... right about here. Everything started three days ago. I needed to do some research, so I went to the archives of the Melior's Royal Library. I'm calling it the Melior from now on. Without warning, the scream of a terrible beast, a wyvern perhaps, rent the air, and the building was rocked by a tremor. I rushed outside and saw wave after wave of knights, cavalry, and wyvern riders, each clad in glistening ebon armor, black as night. The Dayan army? Correct. Was there provocation? As you know, relations between Crimea and Dayan have never been... friendly. However, the past centuries have, have seen only minor skirmishes, nothing that has ever approached the scale of this, this attack. It was brutal and without warning. Dayan laid waste to the capital. I've never seen destruction on this scale before. A swift attack, devastating and brutal. A daring gambit indeed. But if it succeeds, a very well-chosen one at that. Yes, the King of Dane would not hesitate to employ such- Oh, uh, that's Grail. Yes, the King of Dane would not hesitate to employ such treacherous tactics. What happened next? Mustache Man. King Crimea's brother, uh, deployed the Crimean army to meet the attack. The King ordered his people to flee the city before the battle reached them. Fearing the worst, I also fled and made my way here. So we don't have the tides of battle flow now, do we? That's all right. Word of the war cannot have traveled far yet. We may well be the first ones to know of it out here. You did well to bring us this information, Soren. I know some risk was involved. It was nothing. Dan has invaded Crimea. We may be mercenaries, but this still affects us. What are we going to do? That's the question of the day. How do you see it, Titania? Crimea is the closest thing our company has to a homeland. The Crimean royal family and noble houses have been generous, providing us with many lucrative jobs. From a moral standpoint, as well as a business one, it's in our best interest to help Crimea. And you, Soren? I agree on one point. We are mercenaries. We are not Crimea's private militia. No coin has crossed our palms, so I think we should stay out of it. So you would have us sit and watch as Crimea is overrun? I would. Dayan troops are superior in both numbers and morale. The chances of a Crimean victory are slim indeed. But Crimea is ruled by King Ramon, who is known throughout the land for his wisdom. And his brother Duke Renning is said to possess peerless valor and courage. Dan may not find victory so easily. Valor and courage are for children's tales. In terms of military prowess, Dan's King Ashnar is every bit Lord Renning's equal. Victory will hinge on troop numbers and supplies. 
and Dan is superior in both. I think the outcome is painfully obvious. Curse you, Soren! Crimea is not doomed! Crimea is not doomed! If they could turn aside Dan's initial thrust and turn it into a test of endurance... With the Crimean army both demoralized and ill-prepared, they simply will not be able to hold out that long. All right, that's enough, both of you. I hear what you say. However, we must ascertain the, uh, uh, the current situation before we decide on any action. We'll send a scouting party to get a closer look at the Melior. Ike, I want you in charge of this. Assemble your men and get going. What, me? Titania will accompany you as an advisor. Commander, you must be joking. He's just a boy. He's barely had more than a taste of battle. What do you expect a whelp like him to accomplish? Ah, she knows. Since you're so concerned, you can go as well. Wait, that's not what I... Blast. Who else? Gatry, Risa, and Soren. That should do it. Father, wait. Why do you want me... That's an order. That was an order. Get moving. There's no time to waste. Yes, sir. Titania, I'm going out for a bit. I want you to give Ike some direction. Understood. Yes, sir. Ike, wait up! What? Here, this is for you! A regal sword. A sword? Where did you get it? From father. He told me to come and give it to you. It's beautiful. This is the first sword you've gotten that wasn't a hand-me-down from somebody, isn't it? That's great! Yeah. Well, be careful. Oh, and bring me a souvenir. Something nice. I've never been to the Melior before. Mist, I'm not going on vacation. Sheesh. Capital Way. That scene played out like as though like I could ju like, Im like almost immediately after that previous conversation in the briefing room. I think it was meant to imply that there was like setup between the cut from the briefing room to outside there. Because otherwise, it just seems like why didn't Grail just give him the sword right then? Are you feeling all right, Ike? You haven't said a word in quite some time. I don't understand what my father's doing. Why put a new recruit like me in charge of something so important? You're going to succeed him uh, as our commander one day. Don't you think he wants you to learn how, uh, how to lead? Don't you think... Wait. Don't you think he wants you to know how to lead? Me? I don't... I don't know if I'm capable. And even if I am, that day's a long way off, right? I mean, I'm inexperienced. Weak. I'm nothing compared to my father. I'm not so sure about that. When I look at you, I see a young man full of promise. Commander Grail is a great man, but I think you'll be every bit his equal. In time, you might even surpass him. Don't be ridiculous. It's just my opinion. You need not pay it any mind. Yet, if you fear your own weakness, why not take this chance to go out and better yourself? That would be more in keeping with your personality, no? I suppose you're right. How do things look over there, Soren? Same as here. There are corpses strewn everywhere. There are quite a lot of them, especially when you consider how far we are from the capital. Are they Crimean? Judging by the armor, the vast majority of the dead are Dayan soldiers. So Crimea has the upper hand. Just the opposite, I think. The Crimean soldiers are members of the Imperial Guard. That means King Ramon, or another member of the royal family, was on the move when Dayan soldiers fell on them. Could it have been Lord Renning? No. As long as the Crimean army still draws breath, L Lord Renning will not leave their command. Perhaps another member of the court. <laughs> I, I can never remember how to voice this guy, because I make him sound too much like Grail. We, we've got Dane soldiers that moving in in our location, and they don't look happy! This isn't the bandit song. Day in song, day in song, day in song, day in song, day in song. You there, who are you? What are you doing here? We're no one you need... You're armed! Heed me! Drop your weapons and surrender! Act quickly or else! Listen to me, fool. You're making a mistake. We're not... Ah, uh, not going to cooperate, huh? Ready your weapons, men! Move in and kill them all! <laughs> Headstrong fools! Getting caught up in, a skir in uh, some skirmish is not part of the plan. But they're obviously not going to listen to us. Grail mercenaries, get ready to fight! Oh boy! All right, Ike, let's see how you handle the role of captain. Well, what are your orders, boy? We'll do as you say, so long as you hurry up and spit it out. I know, I know, I'm thinking. Give me a moment, will you, Shinon? Uh, useless. We'd be better led than mist the, with the, uh, we'd be better led with mist in the soft, untested whelp. 
Let's see. We're in the middle of the road and there's not much cover. Zorn and Reese are vulnerable, so we have to protect them from enemy attacks, right? That's a sound strategy, Ike. I can attack from behind your defenses. Good thinking. You mean that? Um, all right, let's do that then. All right. Here we get a good look at what we're seeing here, and for such a small map, there are so many enemies. And in hard mode, there are even more. Your high defense units are going to be very handy here, particularly Gatry, but particularly Gatry uh, and even Shino. Excuse me, Shino with his provoke ability. Uh, also here we have our first instance of a weapon that deals more damage to a specific unit. The Night Killer, a lance designed to deal increased damage against units mounted on horseback. Uh, upon entering combat with this, if you are a mounted unit, and this, the, this works the same with any any sort of like uh, attack weaknesses, might is doubled before calculating uh, damage. So for example, this thing has a, this guy's got a hit of 12. Titania has a defense of 11. So, but instead of dealing the one damage that should, it would deal eight. That said, uh, give me a minute to go ahead and organize my troops. And with that, I think we're good to go. But before we jump into the battle, we've got to deal with our new recruit here, Soren. Soren is a mage. Our first magic user, and with luck, our first boss is an armored unit. Mages are generally pretty weak defensively, uh, but make up for it by being able to attack at a range using the magic stat and going against the resistance stat for defense. This early on in the game, not a lot of units have high resistance, so he is pretty good to have right off the start. Uh, and unlike archers, not only can he attack from range, but he can also attack from up close. So if you find yourself against an archer, you can just press yourself right up against it and attack with uh, with wind. Unlike in later Fire Emblem games that some of you might be familiar with, um, each element has its own uh, rank to it. Soren being... Uh, a more adept at wind with D rank and less adept with fire and lightning. We'll get more into those later. Uh, as well, Soren also has the adept skill. As I said, adept before, might as well go into it. Adept makes it so, uh, on certain conditions, grants this unit uh, two consecutive attacks. Very useful, very useful, but very rare that it'll actually go off, as the percentage, I believe, is based on his skill. So, don't expect it to go off reliably this early on in the game. Expect it to go off reliably significantly later. Uh, just as well, him starting off at level one is a blessing in disguise, as if you were to get him at a higher level, there's a chance that he would have lower stats that we could potentially grow with him. That said, this is the perfect opportunity to raise his stats up, and uh, Soren is actually a pretty dang good magic user, all things considered. You're going to want to use him just because of the lack of resistance that a lot of stuff has. So, we're going to get to building him up as we continue on our way here. Starting off, there are so many units here that advancing seems pretty foolhardy. So, what I'm gonna do is take a look at the ranges of all these guys. And see if there are any archers on the move here. Let's see, I think, well that archer is definitely on the move, but can he reach? No. He might come closer depending on where I position everybody. So, I believe what I'm going to do is build up around this area. We're gonna put Soren here. We're gonna leave everybody else as is. I'm gonna put Gatry, not Gatry, um, Shinon over here. Move Ike back down over here, and then put Gatry back here. Um, and then I think I'm gonna keep Titania unequipped. Uh, also, I can take this opportunity to correct some mistakes I made before. First off, weapon weight does not determine weapon experience. Weapon experience is its own hidden stat on here. Most things will either have one or two, depending on it, uh, and it just kind of grows at an even rate no matter what. Second, the attack speed thing, which I made note of in the first episode. Uh, if the attack speed is four or greater, then they get a second attack, not if it is five or greater. That's where I was getting uh, the information wrong, and it does not go into negative values either. Probably should have made notes of what I actually got wrong, so that way I could make note of them better, but those are the two big ones that I noticed. Thank you all for your comments, uh, letting me know about the different mechanics, and, uh, that I am able to, uh, to figure out. I also learned through your comments that, uh, that, uh, Titania is actually kind of better than your usual, uh, as they're known in the Fire Emblem community, Jaegens. She's better than your normal Jaegens. However, Shinon's stats just speak for themselves in that regard. We are getting pushed quite a bit here, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem if we if we manage to stay back. 
She's getting experience just for being pummeled. Dang, okay. All right. Uh, one person went for Ike. That'd be a good opportunity for Soren to get an attack in. Be able to see the wind magic in action. That's uh, I don't know what he expected. Very very standard uh, very standard particle effects for 2005. Just as well. An advantage also of having Titania not having a weapon is that units tend to go for her, which again blessing in disguise. I go ahead and use the Regal Sword. That wouldn't kill. Uh, did anybody take any damage? Yes, Ike did, but I can't move him. Good job, me. Um, well, this is gonna be an interesting round as I can't move everybody and I can't really attack much, so... Might as well do what I can to get rid of some of these people. And also, I gotta be careful because this guy is gonna go for him. What's his attack? Nine. He's got, this guy's, he's got at least two defense, so he's gonna be fine. And his attack speed uh, is two. Yeah, Soren will be fine. One more thing about mages. The weight of their weapons relies on strength. As opposed to raising up his strength, uh, and his strength does not raise very quickly at all. Um, as opposed to raising his strength, I'm probably gonna end up handing him over the uh, the speed wing or whatever that, that I've got it on somebody. Oh, I didn't, damn it, I didn't put it on, whatever. I'll give it to him later. But either way, I'm gonna try to increase his speed so that way he can get more attacks in more reliably, especially as he gets some of the heavier books. I need to be careful because if I back up, uh, how far can he go? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and he'd be able to hit Reese, which don't want, do not want. Um... I can't really do much there. I can't have, well, that would put him in danger though. I do this, attack him with the regal sword, I'd hit him twice. I could probably do that with the iron sword and yeah, have the same effect. But Tom, you may be saying, you left a giant hole in your, in your defenses. That I did. But, uh, it's because I'm actually gonna use Titania for this as opposed to just using her as a shield. Uh, okay, let's see. I'll go Iron Axe. That should... that'll kill. Coming on in here. Smack. Smack. And smack. Actually, also, considering that I just got rid of the ranged attacker, I now have the opportunity to go up and heal somebody if I need to. Which, Reese needs all the experience he can get. So I'm gonna be doing that. And let's see, considering, oh wow. Not as much as I hope, but I'll at least get some damage off with the Iron Lance. As Gatry will not be getting any damage on him at all. The funny thing about this is that I have not played through or beaten this game before. Some of you might be saying like, well, how are you creating such a good guide in it then? <laughs> Such a guide on it. I don't want to I don't want to pat myself on the back too much here um, The reason for that is because I'm playing every chapter uh, ahead of time there. Oh, right Forgot about forgot about that little tactic that they have there of running away and healing um, But no the uh, the God my brain is breaking right now, but no, I'm playing every chapter ahead of time taking notes on it um, so, there, I, I mean, I'm not really gonna be surprised on stuff because I'm playing every chapter right before I play it, but I'm trying to think of how far I got the last time I played this. I, there are certain characters that I have seen that are probably more, they've probably been uh, spoiled in Smash Bros. the more I think about it. But no, good strategy off the bat here is to stay back, let them come to you, and then heal off any damage that they may have received. For example... I need to be careful. This, this, this guy is the only one who's... Yeah, I'm probably gonna advan uh, advance here. Or maybe not, because I still have to take down like all of these guys. I 
And they keep going for him, so I think it might be better if I just back off and start attacking them from a distance with, uh, with... Just try to get rid of as many of them as possible. Oh, and the crit! I love the crit animation for archers. There's something about these GameCube games that are just like, they're so clean. If that makes sense. Like, this is running at a cool 60 FPS throughout. The animation looks nice. It's definitely an improvement over the N64. Uh, I'm getting two attacks in on him for eight damage with that. Not enough with that. I can do it with that. What of you? 21 health. I need to be sure that I'm moving people in such a in such a way where they're not going to get absolutely destroyed. On top of that, if I move Ike too far forward, he's going to end up getting pretty heavily attacked by actually. That's the one place I can go that would only attract this guy. Wow. Okay. Uh, if I Iron Lance him, that's 14 damage for one hit, or... Uh, let's see. 14 damage for one hit, or 17 for one hit as well. Alternatively, I could do this. Oh, hello! That's finally a pretty good position I can get myself into here. As long as she doesn't crit. Uh, and she does have a very low accuracy with that. Do I have anything else that she could attack with that wouldn't just kill immediately? Not really. Steel Axe it is! Time to give it a shot. If nothing else, I could put her in a, in a relatively good defensive position. Oh, her counter went off, which only did one damage, but I'm okay with that. All right, I need to get her back into a defensive position here, so that way people don't, you know, die. I don't know if he's gonna come back into battle. Maybe, maybe have Ike attack this guy? Regal Sword, no, that's not gonna be nearly enough. Because of this guy's speed. Uh, 10 damage, yeah, nope. Not on that watch. Although, considering that uh, Shinon's got a ch um, the provoke ability, this might be a good opportunity to just leave him out in the open and let him get hit, and they won't go after they won't go after uh, Soren as a result. Either way, I feel like they'd be going after him anyway because he can't attack. Uh, Regal Sword will finish the job. First use of the Regal Sword. Well, bam. Sta Ooh. Gonna need a medic. Very possible that I just get Ike killed here. Uh. Okay, I can't put Reese that far up for now. And, oh, what was I thinking with some of this positioning? Uh... Let me just check here real quick. Speed of nine, he's got a speed of f Oh, no! Oh, I can't lose Reese this early! No matter where he goes, he's gonna be able to catch him. Oh, I should have finished him off with Ike! What the heck was I think with that positioning? Wait! Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> Strategy! I can't believe that worked! <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> I gotta level up with Ike, level 8 Ranger. God, he- why won't his strength go up? He's got four magic! He should have zero! Okay, we're in a little bit of a dire strait here. It's fine though, it's fine! Considering Shino and Gatry are already pretty high level as it is, I'm gonna have Soren finish- Oh, uh, let's see. 
I gotta make sure I'm not putting myself in a position where I'm just gonna end up getting completely destroyed. These two will be able to attack him. He can only move so far. No, I can make this work. I'll go- I'll come over here. Here? I'll come over here, heal Ike. For a cool 20 HP, good good. Have him come over here and finish this guy off with the Iron Sword. He didn't heal, but I guess that means that nobody in the area has a vulnerary. Smack! Alright, and just to check, he is in range of this guy, and this uh, and this archer might move as well, but I'm out of range of that. Okay, and, and just to be sure. Yes, if I stand right in front of him, then he won't. How much damage am I dealing with this? Six. Well, I guess he's getting the next heal. Let me check the archer one more time, just in case. Okay, we're still good there. Six, but I attack twice. And he does a cool 10 damage to me, good lord. Be a good heal target for Reese, though. Ah, would have been nice if he dodged. Just a, a good example here of just how squishy mages are for the most part. But he is leveling up fast because of his low level. What is with these level ups? At least skill is a good one, but come on. I need more than that, more damage, more everything. See how many I can get them to attack him. Wait. Whoa, here they come. Watch out, boy, they'll chew you up. Except they will not, because they can't pierce it. You know what they say. They only come out at night! Things go well, I might be leveling up Reese this time around. Getting his staff ability up here. Giving him a staff infection. Ow! Smack! Smack! Eight damage per hit isn't bad, so that'll be good for Ike to finish him off. Alright, not bad. Um, yeah, definitely. Wow, I'm surprised the archer didn't come. I was wondering about that. Let's go ahead and heal Soren. I'd rather level up Gatry right now than Sheenon just because of... Because he's he's so good as it is right now. I'm give as much an opportunity as possible to the quote-unquote lower level units. Smack him up. I wonder if shove just doesn't have anything to do with weight. I think it's just it's just the the rescue ability. Then it would have to be. Um. I guess. He, oh, how many people do we have left? Yeah, we just got to defeat the boss, and we don't have that many people left here. I guess I'll have Titania come over here to attract the archer. Gatry can finish this guy off. Uh, I don't need to waste a steel lance usage, I'll use the iron lance. Hello! We're both spearmen, as you see, but I am more heavily armored! I'd kinda love to see a unit that- hey, nice! Kinda love to see a, a unit that's like, not even a knight, but just so heavily armored for like, no reason. I'm gonna go around him over here. Finish him off with... A taste of the old iron! Gatry up this way. Oh, I didn't even realize that Reese already went. Oh no! What is Titania going to do? Oh no! The horse is too strong! Are we just gonna like. Here's the thing, Titania and Horse are a unit. 
one one does not exist without the other, and as such, the horse is just as powerful. They are a duo. You know, ignoring the fact that Titania looks like Leukogen. Uh, let's see. Would you be able to kill? I doubt it. Yeah, even though he's got no defense to that, he wouldn't be able to kill. Just because I... My level up didn't include anything on... In, <laughs> God, they forgot my Happy Meal. Uh, if I don't that, it'd be... Actually, yeah, I could do that with Gatry and then finish him off with Soren. Because you want to use this opportunity to level up Soren if you're going to use him as your magic user. On top of that, magic users are just really helpful to have right off the bat. Let me just check to make sure that I'm not putting him in harm's way before I take the steps closer. Uh, yeah, and he should die. Oh, I probably should have attacked right next to him and get- Well, there's no way this is gonna miss, right? Thank goodness. I think- I think I was uh, saying something, but I forgot what the point was. It was- the, the main point was that, like, uh, associated with it, was that... It's better to have... Nope, lost it again. What was I saying? It's better to have... Oh, it's better to increase, uh, uh, so, uh, mage's speed to boost their attack speed as opposed to trying to, uh, bolster their strength. Oh, that kills me, that 99. Actually, I could probably attach, uh, attract the sword fighter without much issue here. Um, let me just see. We're running an attack speed of 11 with this, and he's got an attack speed of significantly less because- he, Yeah, he's got an attack speed of 3. I'm gonna be hitting him twice no matter what. I'm gonna do the- I'm gonna do the- the old bait maneuver. And just to make sure I'm not putting anybody at death's door here, there we go. The Miramadan comes over! This is no Miramadan. I should probably actually heal, uh, Titania. Really? That's the only one that came out? I guess I'll pop Gatry in this spot over here. Wait. Uh, Ike can take a couple swings at this guy, I suppose. For, let's see, seven damage a pop versus nine damage a pop versus 10 damage a pop. Let's get as much damage in as possible. Steel sword versus steel sword. The equipment speaks volumes. Wait a minute. <laughs> Oh, I, for a second I thought I just put him in, in range of like what was going on there. Alright, let's just kill this guy with Soren. Gonna try and kill the boss with Soren as well. Whew. I feel so bad for my poor mom. She uh she's visiting right now. And we went to an Italian place for uh for, for lunch. I don't think she seemed fine. She seemed, she said she was a little bit nauseous. Oh, I got a magic up. Nice. And a skill up, and a speed up, and a resistance up. Those are actually really good stat increases. Um, she said she was feeling a bit nauseous, and I, we didn't think much of it. Then I'm driving her back to her hotel, and she's just like... Thomas, I'm gonna throw up. And, and uh, like, I was just like, do you want me to pull over? And she's like, yes. And, like, as I'm doing it, she has, like, this plastic bag from CVS, and she's just pulling as much out of it as possible to have the bag, like, available to her. Cause, like, cause I couldn't find a place to pull, to pull off, so she just, like, was pulling everything out of the CVS bag, and she just, poor woman just throws up in there. So yes, the Night Killer works on mounted units, not on actual knights. <laughs> Something I was not expecting when that, uh, when, when they approached me like that. She said she, she said she felt much better afterwards, though, so I'm glad that, I'm glad that cleared up for her. Oh, good. Oh, my God. This is going fantastically. 
Holy cow, I couldn't have, like, pictured this going any better, to be perfectly honest. I'm gonna try to put Ike in the front lines against the knight here, just just because uh, to get as many dialogue options as possible. Uh, Soren also has a dialogue option here. Do 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 uh, he's not doing so good on health. Let's go ahead and fix that. Just to get him up to full, because he's going to be fighting against an armored dude. I think I am going to pull out the regal on this one. What's his defense? 11? Oh, he's not full on equipment, is he? No, he's not. I think I'll keep the steel sword out. Although I can get two... Wait, actually, how many attacks can I get in on him? Uh, minus four, seven. Versus... You, sir. A five. So I can get one attack gun on, on that. At an attack of five. Uh, four twice and... Eight is the most damage I can do with that. I'll keep the steel sword out if I can kill this guy with that. Which I can. Wow. Uh, yeah, I'll keep the steel sword out. Bap! Ooh, there's something I need to also mention that I'm pretty sure I neglected, and... Yeah, I don't remember what it is, so I'm not just... I just can't do it now. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Let's go ahead and have everybody wait up. There we go. Oh, it didn't matter what he was using. I probably should have used a different sword for better avoid on him. Bah! You're nothing more than a bunch of ragtag swords. Who are you to oppose Dayan? You are so terribly ignorant of your position in the world. You refuse to listen to us, and then you attacked without provocation. Is this the way of the day in army? You're a cheeky little monkey, aren't you? Once you're dead, you'll regret sassing me. No, I won't regret anything, I'll be dead. Nine damage off of that. Hey, I'm the single experience from just taking a hit. Why isn't he getting any strength? Oh my god, are there any flat damage weapons in this game? Uh, let's see. Steel Bow, I can get a good chunk of damage in on him that way. I definitely want to finish him off with Soren. Steel Bow, let's see. That gets in... 14 damage? 28 if I crit it, if I crit at least once? Gah, blasted mercenaries! They're better than I expected. Even so, they'll not prove a match for Dayan's finest. No crit. Havelina, miss. No crit. All right. Um, Gatry, why don't you come up there and give him a little poke, pokey poke? Give him a little eleven damage pokey poke. Uh, yeah, it should be good. Eleven damage pokey poke. Damn. <laughs> what a fruitful meeting of the minds! Need to see what I got here. I can't hit him twice. I'm hitting him for 8 damage, so I need to deal at least 10. Oh man, did I screw this up so, I'm, so I can't do this properly? Hand Axe deals the least amount of damage, but it deals just enough to kill him! Regal Sword. I'm dealing... Wait, nine damage per hit? I must have calculated that wrong. Wait, what? Oh, it's good against armored units, right! Shoot! Um, oh boy. No going back in time like there is in future Fire Emblem games. Even that deals ugh, just below the threshold, all right. Oh, at least get Soren in there because he's got special dialogue against this guy. Let's see how much damage is he gonna take. Fourteen. Maybe I'll get lucky on the crit, or on adept. Actually, even on adept, it wouldn't. Well, no, actually, adept would not be enough. Never mind. <laughs> ha! Let's just do it because he's got special dialogue. A mage, eh? I'll have to keep my guard up around you, no matter how young you look. You forced this combat. We cannot allow you to return home. Are you ready to die? 
You forced this combat. We cannot allow you to return home. Are you ready to die? Ah. I was hoping Adept would kick in and get a second attack. Oh, good, it missed. Oh, maybe if I build it. Oh, no, you know what? Who would he go for, honestly? How's everyone's health doing? Actually, everyone's... I theoretically could... Uh, I'm gonna move Ike back here and wait, just so I can heal him up with uh with Reese. And then, I hope I'm calculating this right. He can't kill Soren, as far as I can tell. It's gonna depend on who he attacks, but I'm pretty sure he can't kill any of us. How much damage is he dealing with that? 22, he's dealing a lot. He wouldn't go for Gatry, I don't think. Unequip. Let's see what happens. I'm confident that Soren won't die. Oh, good, he ran into, he ran? He ran into a bush. Throw! Yep, that did a lot of damage. If that missed, I would've been so mad. All right. Now for stupid confidence, because there is no way I could lose this. And I can get Reese some more experience by healing up Soren. All right, uh, 93% chance to attack, or to, to hit. I'm taking that odds. Go, Soren, go! Kill! Ah, wretched curse! You will regret your decision to oppose Dayan! As he dies, like, up. He's, like, he didn't fall. He's just, like, still upright in the armor. Damn! Damn! Damn, that was a good level up. Maybe Soren should be re leading, uh, leading this party instead of Ike. Did we suffer any casualties? Any wounded or dead? No? Excellent. Well done. I don't know, taking out these Dayan soldiers may have been a bad move. Uh, hey, Shinon, what are you doing? This swine's got some nice weapons. Besides, he ain't gonna complain. He won't need him where he's going. Shinon! Get a hold of yourself. We can't afford to such behavior right now. Steal from the dead on your own time. What? You judgmental little... Soren, Shinon, stop this at once. This is no place for us to waste time bickering amongst ourselves. Let's clear out of here. We have to tell the commander what happened. Let's take this road. We should be able to cut through the forest and... Huh? Something wrong? No, as I said, this road... Wait, Ike. I just saw something move on the far side of that thicket. A wounded soldier, perhaps? Let's go have a look. Careful now. Oh, no. Did you find anything, Reese? It's a woman. Leave her. We shouldn't get involved in matters that don't concern us. Uh... Thank goodness. It looks like she's merely fainted. Right. We better take her with us for now and make sure she's all right. Give me a hand, will you, Reese? Of course. I don't like this. Next time on Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. We're going to figure out who this mysterious woman is and, you know... I don't think she's gonna be any trouble at all. No sirree, Bob. No sir whatsoever. See you all next time. Later.